Find me on Facebook, and be sure to like and share your favorite videos. Also check out Ontario Street Outlaws, they put on an awesome show there last weekend in Sparta. Hope to see them out there again sometime soon. They got some other events going on and Grand Bend and Toronto Motorsports Park this summer. Check those out, go to their Facebook page, Ontario Street Outlaws. Also the last weekend to sign up for points, so if you haven't signed up for points, you better do it this weekend. Hoping to get some more people in the point series and street class right now, there's only six or seven I think it is. And I would like to see that at least up to 10 or 12 people would be great. Right now I'm in a tie for fourth place with Colleen. We got Sean Bridges in first place, Gary Leak in number two position. I'm hoping to make up some ground that I lost from last weekend and get caught back up to first place. I think there's 15 or 20 points separating us. Normally they'll have buybacks after first round, which basically means if you lose your first round, you can buy back in and keep racing. But you'll no longer be collecting points, so if you keep winning rounds, you don't collect any points just racing for the cash prize at the end of the day. And you're also stopping your competitors from gaining points if you beat them. For instance, last race, Colleen beat me out first round, and I went up to the tower, bought back in, and I ended up winning that points race, but I didn't collect any points doing it. The way the points works is you get five points for showing up, you get 10 points for each round win, and then you get five points if you win point series race without having to buy back in. So I'll explain to you guys how this is going to work tonight. So Gary and I are going to get two time trials. We're going to do them back to back, heads up. And then after that, we're going to let the cars cool down. And then we're going to dial the cars in and we're going to do two back to back bracket races. If he wins one and I win one, then we're going to do a third one a little bit later in the night. Basically what a bracket race is, is when you write a number down on your windshield that you think your car is going to run. You've got to cross the finish line before the other person that you're racing does without going quicker than that number that you have written on your windshield. Alright, here we go. Me and Gary are going to do two test passes. Get an idea what we're going to dial our cars into. 
later in the evening, we are going to do two bracket races to decide between who has the experience, who has the knowledge, who has the technique, who has the talent. Stick versus automatic. Gary's got him on the line. All right, Gary cut an 01 with the 7. I cut an 03 with the 6. I went to 12.30, he went to 12.50. but I think he had problems finding fourth gear and I went in 12 .8. so I picked up a little bit on that last one. And Gary killing the tree tonight, an 01 and an 02 with the 9, my goodness. First pass I went at 1230, second pass I went at 1228, so I'm thinking I'm going to dial about it. I'm going to go, I don't know, right in the middle of 1229. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that everybody's been waiting for, the face-off between Gary Leak and Aaron Vince, the two heavy hitters of the street class for the past two years at St. Thomas Raceway Park, and so this is going to be a sweet battle. Hope you enjoy it. Gary's dialing at 12.50. 1250 versus 1229. Okay, he's gonna get a bit of a head Who's gonna win? Stick shift or automatic? Carburetor or fuel injected? Old or young? May the best man win. Here we go. Light them up. We're ready to go. I broke out. Gary broke out too, 12.49, good race. We'll line her up, we'll do her again. Leave my dial alone and see what happens here. It broke away out last time, 12.18. But I'm warmed up now, so probably be a little closer this time, hopefully. I gotta win this one to keep going, so the pressure's on me here. Gotta cut a better light, have a chance to get scary. 
Gary's got the lights. Aaron's in. They're ready. I don't know, if Gary won that one, I guess we're going back to his trailer to drink his beer and celebrate his win. It's over. <laughs> Dude, thank you, sir. Well, uh, hopefully I'm saving my luck for tomorrow and Sunday. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Good job, Gary, that was a nice run. Treat the hell out of me both times, buddy. Great job. I'm gonna go bring you a beer right now. You deserve it. Gary yeah, likes to bang gears and he has a looks like he has a lot of fun doing it, so I'll hand it to him. It's a hell of a lot harder in a bracket race with a stick shift car than it is an automatic, so he's nailing that tree, man. Ah! I owe you beer! That sounds all right, eh? Alright. I I hit the brakes on that last one because I, I was hoping right. you were gonna fing Yeah. Made you stay in it. He went a 51 on a 50. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help to promote drag racing. Find me on Facebook and be sure to like and share your favorite videos. Make sure you check out stthomasracewaypark.com or find them on Facebook for all your drag racing dates and information.